Hi, I'm Trevor, the CEO of the SAME Foundation. The donation we received from Intubase helped us in procuring vital, life-saving medical equipment and PPE for Tigerberg and Huitiskia hospitals in the Western Cape. Um, this was while the Western Cape was the epicenter of the pandemic. If you would like to get in touch or assist us in these projects, you can get hold of us on our website, which is www.samefoundation.org.za, Facebook and Instagram or LinkedIn. Race number four in the program, 1600 meters the distance, 13.45 is the off time, the start of jackpot one, a maiden plate that will get jackpot one underway. And uh, race four, let's have a look at our interview package before uh, we dive into uh, the runners. Spec Magic, um, he's, all his runs have been promising, he's been right there and thereabouts. Um, I think maybe we're heading in the right direction with the distance. Um, I'm looking forward to, to Rachel riding with a one and a half off and I think he can run a good race. He, he, he hasn't been working for more than like five days because of the rains and stuff, so we didn't have tracks. And uh, his last run, he ran a good race. Uh, he just ran second, they just got him the last 100 meters. And I uh, just think he needed a run. Uh, uh, I think he's also going to run a very good race on, uh, on Sunday. Uh, Red Horse, I think it will improve from where he's drawn. I think he will run a good race. Scampton is your favorite at around 2 to 1 in the market. Sweeper Keeper is trading at 7 to 2. Wyatt's Choice 9 to 2, 6 to 1 about uh, Play X. And then it's 8 to 1 and better bar those. Now, I think this horse, Sweeper Keeper, could just be the right horse in the race. I've been waiting for this horse to get a draw. And he finally cracks a draw in a smallish field of, of just 11 runners. And uh, with Serena Mudley aboard once again, he's going over 1600 meters. Last time out, he was on the poly track. It was a rain affected surface where not a lot of the runners were making up uh, ground in the early in the early races. And uh, this horse from the 10 draw, given a chance, dropped out towards the back end of the field and he made up nice headway on a surface that was running quite quick on the day. And I think on going onto the turf from a two draw, stepping up in trip to 1600 meters, I think there's a lot going for this individual. He was beaten six lengths behind the Shepherd last time. I think the Shepherd is quite a smart sort and a horse that could win his fair share of races. And I think uh, this that type of run, given that the conditions weren't in his favor, he didn't have a draw and he was going over a trip that um, could just be on the sharper side for him. I think he's got a lot going for him, number two sweeper keeper. So he's going to be the top selection for me. He's a horse that I'm happy to take a chance with in the place accumulator and even the bar pot and banker. I think he'll go extremely close to winning and I think um, he could just be the right horse in the race. Scampton, he's a pretty fit horse running just six days ago. He uh, did things quite tough out in front he seemed to be a horse that uh, didn't want to settle for Richard Furry whether it was he didn't want to settle or he just took hold of the bit and uh, he just he went for it from he tried to leave them from start to finish and unfortunately he just got caught in the final stages of the race behind Fireflare who won with a bit in hand it must be said and now dropping to uh, 1600 meters he's a horse that um, I expect will be right up there once again you've got number eight Wyatt's Choice who's coming along the right way with racing Improved last time out when running fifth behind Nightjar, only beaten two lengths. Fireflare winning from that form line. Sipa Sishle Schlingwa takes the ride. I think he'll be right up there at the finish. And then number five, Spec Magic. Garth Puller mentioned that um, it could be the right trip for him. He's expecting a good run. So I think he's a runner that you can include into trifectas and quartets. Even the source Electric Storm, who made good improvement last time out behind Nightjar. Maybe he's one to include into uh, trifectas and quartets as well. But I like the look of number two sweeper keeper here. He's going to be the top selection for me. I think he'll go close to winning. And um, hopefully he can get the job done for Wendy Whitehead and a few of the uh, connections here. Followed by a horse like Scampton, Wyatt's Choice. I think even Play X could get involved for trifectas and quartets. And uh, a horse like Spec Magic as well. But uh, I'm going to be with a two horse. I'm going to take my chances in terms of the PA and... Uh, the bar part and bank of this individual. Pick six wise, I think includes Scampton, Wyatt's Choice, and maybe even horse number five, Spec Magic. My name is Beston. I live in Cape Town. And also, I do uh, delivery. Interbent helped me to realize my dreams. Now I have my own delivery vehicle and I'm able to do the removal in. In the round Cape Town. 